Start with Chip Towers and Jake Rowe. Zamir, uh, hope you're well. Uh, hello. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, good, thank you. Uh, there's been a lot of talk uh, in in these first few weeks about where is Georgia's run game or, or Georgia's run game lacking something. Uh, but it, it's hard to tell uh, beyond statistics how well that's working. From your view, how do you feel about the run game and, and what what is it that you want to see you guys do to better uh, better as backs and, and as an offense as a whole? Um, I feel like they're running. But I feel like the run game is there. Um, like we, ooh, I mean, like there's like some stuff that we got to pick up, but um, and that's all of us though. Like we gonna be all right though. Definitely um, with the offense, like we just gotta um, it just come more more together and just lock in. That's it. <clears throat> uh, Zamir, when you you look at the first four games of this season, the Tennessee game stands out as one where. You know, you had a little bit more trouble kind of finding some success in that game. Uh, it looked like you may have been banged up in that game early. And I wanted to check, you know, did you suffer an injury early in that game or were you banged up coming into it? And and how maybe has that kind of cleared up or how has it affected you kind of going forward? Um, I was just a little sore. Um, so, like, the, um, what play was it? It was – it was probably like the second plate, and I just like was a little sore from it. So like, yeah, you know, like I couldn't do do what I wanted to do. But um, now though, I'm fine now. Yeah, like I'm you know 110, 10 percent. So I'm fine. Uh, next we'll go to Dean Leggy and then Mike Griffith. This was something that Kirby talked about earlier, Zamir, talking about your special teams play and how you've opened up stuff for other guys. I do wonder, though, too, would you like to be able to get a few more um, returns in the kickoff game? Um, sure, man. Um, yeah, like, uh, like they kick it to me, yeah. But if not, like, I'm going to block for Kenny. Kenny or um, Reed or K. Yeah, um, he, yeah, they're my brother. So, like, I just got to go out there and just, and just put it off. But, yeah. Mir, you look like uh, when, when you run out of the deep eye, you look really comfortable uh, hitting that line at 100 miles per hour. How different and how difficult is it to adjust to running out of the shotgun from being a deep eye back? Um, not at all. Um, like it ain't no difference. Like just go out there and just play your game. That shit really. Next, we're to Mark Weiser than Anthony Dasher. Zamir, uh, obviously you guys uh, have three, four uh, running backs that, that are playing early and, 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 you know, making contributions. So I want to ask you kind of about how that benefits uh, you guys and also uh, with James uh, scoring his long touchdown, uh, you know, how, how explosive can he be on, on plays like that? Um, matter of fact, before, before, like, they called the play, like, I was like, you know, you know then my linebacker goes out there and old James, I was like, it's a touchdown. And, 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 and on like, as soon as he went out there, I was like, yeah, definitely it's a touchdown. But games will be yeah, real good. So. Hey, Zamir, I'm going to ask you about, about uh, Kendall Milton just a, just a little bit. Kind of what's your impressions on him? He's really a strong runner. I don't know how many guys uh, uh, yards after ca I have carried, rather he has. I think he probably leads lead the team right now in the brief time yeah. he's played. But just what's your take on him, and uh, and what's been your advice to him so far this year? Um, advice for Kendall, um, just keep going. Um, just keep on working hard. Um, practicing hard and just being you, bro. Like just do what you do. Um, Kendall's a great kid, smart kid, and me, Cook, Cook, Kenny. He, me cooking Kenny, but we love him by the death. So, yeah. Next, we'll go to Seth Emerson and Austin Roper. Hey, Zamir. Um, as the running back, I imagine that you, you think that Georgia's kind of identity on offense will revolve around the running game. But what do you think? How is How does the running game in this day and age when you've got the Alabamas and the LSUs passing it all over the place, how, how does it still fit in? I mean, um, you just got to get it 
in there when you can, man. Um, like nowadays, like the um, lead is changing now, like to more passion stuff and all this. But like, um, like the run is gonna be there always. Yeah, you always get a good um, um run game going, but like the win game. So yeah, that's, that's all right. Hey Zamir, um, as far as like consistent consistency getting carries. Uh, so far this season, what do you make of having so much inconsistency um, with that throughout each game? Does that bother you at all? Did you did you expect to have a bigger, more consistent role in the offense, or is this just something that you know you just have to, I guess, deal with? No, sir. Um, like it's just something that um, like we just um, do here. Like we get um, multiple guys reps, um, like to save our bodies and just be smart with each other. That's it. Next, we'll go to Charles Odom and Connor Riley. Hey, Zamir, we just had a, a game in Atlanta yesterday where uh, DeAndre Swift and Todd Gurley uh, were uh, in the spotlight. Um, can you talk about the uh, running back tradition and what it means to you uh, to be um, next in line in that, in that tradition? And also, can you share if you, if you, if you hear from any of the, the old guard? Um, you know, like it, um, it means a lot to me, um, just knowing that them guys are just here and they had great careers here and, um, like Swift, um, Swift, like we play together, like we talk all the time. Um, he just, uh, talked to me about the lead, lead and just the program there, like, yeah, you know, like the system and all that type of stuff, but, um, yeah. Hey, Zemir, I know you talked a little bit earlier about why special teams are important to you. How does playing on punt return, playing on so many different special teams units, help you as a running back? Um, help me as a running back. Um, far, far as like the lead and stuff like that. Like most guys, most guys that go to the NFL, um, well, running backs, of course. So you got to play some type of, you know, like on um, like kick return or like punt return or punt. So why not play it now and like get used to it and just yeah you know, get my craft better at it. We'll finish up with Palmer Toms and Brandon Sudge. Yeah, Zamir, coming out of the bye week, how confident is this team that y'all can run the table and, and get a potential rematch with Alabama and Atlanta? Um, we're definitely confident, but like we know that we got to work hard and just come back um with that locked in mindset ready to go and just eat and just you know ready for war so yeah hey uh zamir uh going back over uh to the whole running uh game and everything in the offense um i remember a couple of weeks ago when y'all had the uptick in carries and yardage you said get back to georgia football yes, sir. um do you feel like you guys as running backs are gonna have are like getting close to reaching that breakout game. And then also, um, like, has it been any different, I guess, running this offense with a the, with Coach Munkin, who likes to pass the ball? Is it a little bit different and harder to play that brand of Georgia football, I guess? Um, no, sir. We feel like Coach um, Munkin is doing a great job here. And, um, and, and, um, we all look forward forward to playing for him. Um, so, yeah, we feel we feel good about the run game in the um, outbreak game is coming soon, but we're going to get it. Thanks, Amir. Have a great rest of your day. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.